Now that I have planned out my infographic, I'm going to add a page by tapping the plus button in the bottom left corner. I'm going to start my complex infographic by tapping the shape button and selecting a rectangle. I'm going to use the blue dots to move and resize the shape. Next, I'm going to double tap inside the box to add text. Before I type my title, I'm going to tap the formatting tool or the paintbrush and then tap the word label. I'm going to select the title option and then I'm going to select my font and I'm going to select my color. I'm going to tap update so I can reuse this setting if I need another title. Now I'm going to type the title of my infographic. My next step is to create four boxes for my four categories. To do this, I'm going to tap the shape button and select the rectangle. I'm going to move the shape by tapping the center of the shape and dragging it. Then I'm going to resize the shape using the blue dots. I don't want the shape to be black, so I'm going to tap the formatting tool or the paintbrush. For my example, I want there to be no fill color. I'm going to toggle on the border and then make the color red. I need three more of the same shape. So I'm going to tap the shape and select copy. Then tap outside of the shape and select paste until I have four matching rectangles. The next step is to copy and paste the category icons to my four rectangles. To do this, I'm going to tap on the page where I planned out my infographic, tap the icon and select copy. Tap on the page with my infographic, then tap in the blank space on the page and select paste. Move and resize the icon if needed. I'm going to repeat these steps for all four of my categories. The next step is to copy and paste the information from my planning document into my infographic. I'm going to tap inside the first cell and use my keyboard to select all, Command A. Then tap copy. Go back to the infographic page and select paste. Tap and drag to move the text where you want it and use the blue dots to resize. Tap the formatting tool or paintbrush, select text, and then select paragraph styles. I'm going to choose the body style. Make any changes you want to the body style and then tap update to be used again. I'm going to repeat these steps to finish the category and I'm using three different colors to differentiate between the three regions. I can tap on the box to make it longer as needed. The next step is to copy all my icons and paste them onto the infographic at one time. To do this, I'm going to zoom in and select one icon. Tap Select Objects and then tap each icon. Select Done at the bottom. On the infographic page, tap and select Paste. Now I can move each icon by tapping and dragging and recolor them using the formatting tool. I'm going to continue to copy and paste for my planning document until I have completed my infographic. The last thing I need to do is tidy up my infographic to make it look cohesive and polished.